okay as per the diagram you can see that uh, we have a two target group target group 1 and target group 2 so i've been already created my load balancer so now i'll create two target group one is for home another one is for my contact page okay so when i'm accessing ashik.ml and uh, this domain name will be redirect to my target group 1 so when i'm accessing contact.ashik.ml it will be go to my target group 2 okay so this i'm going to deploy over here yesterday actually we were doing path based which means <coughs> So if you specifying ashik.ml slash then home, it will go to home directory, right? So if you specifying ashik.ml slash contact, it will, it will go to contact page. But here actually we are going to integrate with our domain. Literally interesting, <coughs> right? So I'll go to first my AWS account, then I will create two target group. To create target group, we have an option over here, target group. Select this target group. Okay, you can see that we don't have any target group as of now. So I'll create two target group. One is for home, another one is contact. Okay, so create target group. So we have a uh, like a numerous option. One is instance. You can put your instance into your target group, or else you can select IP address. Okay, so we have a numerous use cases. Okay, we'll discuss that. So we have a lambda function. So while we discussing lambda, we'll explain that. And we have an application load balancer. You can uh, you can integrate application load balancer as well. Okay. So here I will select uh, home or I will call it as home. So my protocol that is 80 and I will select one VPC and health check protocol that is HTTP. Okay. So later health check path that is the root. Then next. Okay. You can see that we don't have any virtual machine as of now. I'll create a blank uh, target group. So create a target group. Successfully created my home target group. I'll create one more target group. For that, click on create a target group again. Select your instance and uh, name that I will choose contact. So then I will select next. Again, that's created my second target group. So now I will create two virtual machine. Virtual machine one for my home page and virtual machine two for contact, contact page. Okay. So for that, uh, we have to click on this virtual machine. So we have to go to EC2. Let me go to EC2. So in EC2, uh, we have to create two virtual machine. Let me do that. I'll just click on launch instance. So EC2. So let me run the user data. Then we only need to change the uh, like a home path, right? So that's what. So we can simply, we can put two virtual machine we need to create. So number of instance. So beneath, I will specify my subnet and my key name. And uh, so I will select a auto scaling group as my security group because auto scaling group that security group is already allowing all traffic. That's what already we created while we discussing auto scaling group. So let me just select scale uh, existing auto scaling group. Where is it? Okay, you can see that auto scaling group. I just named as auto scaling group. It's a normal security group. I've been already allowed all traffic in auto scaling group security group. So come down. I will allow my user data. So let me get my user data first. AWS one batches AWS. One. Okay. Okay. So this is my user data. You can see that. So I have a script over here. So what is it? What is the name of this link? Shebang link. Okay. So this is going to use bash shell. Okay. Bony again shell. And second, it is going to install one Apache server. And third one, it is going to start by Apache server. Finally, it will uh, copy or it will push this file into index.html. You can see that. So I, I have a directory var www.html and that automatically create one file index.html. Then it will create this content over there. Okay. So I'll do that. So here you can see that home page. Right. I'll copy this file. I'll go to my server, then I paste over here. Yeah, fine. So now let me uh, launch this instance. Automatically, it will create two virtual machine. Launch EC2 one, EC2 two. I'll call it as one is a contact. So this is home. So this is home instance, and this is contact. See, you can put as much as you want. For example, if you want to create multiple instance, you can create multiple instance. Then you can put those instance into that target group. Here I'm only creating one instance for like experiment purpose. That's it. Okay. Anyway, successfully it's running, right? So I'll go to this home. Let me get the public AP address. So we can search what, what we're getting over there. Okay. 
so we have to give a small time because that has to install all the packages right so let's wait a couple of minutes then it will work wait okay you can see that i'm getting <coughs> home page over here right okay so now i will change this home page to contact page for my second instance okay so i'll get the second instance this is my second instance contact i'll get the public ip address and i'll paste this is you can see that that is ending with 39 ip address right so this is ending with the 142 ender and you can see the same page over here so both server are having same page but i will change to uh, some di different name contact so let me do that i'll connect my uh, this virtual machine second virtual machine connect okay so how to edit the name how to edit eh? now how to edit that particular name no so we have to go to the particular directory right so automatically one directory will be created when i'm installing apache right and this file has been pushed to that particular directory what is the directory path no dtc var wwhtml that is the default index uh, file directory okay please keep in mind can i change that directory like in future if i want custom we can do that so you have to go to the configuration file then you have to change what is the configuration file location slash etc slash etc HTTP. all the configuration will be houses in etc directory under etc we have a one more directory that is HTTP. for example if we install in python so python configuration file will be houses in etc directory only so they will create one directory that is called python if you're creating ansible automatically that will create a directory in etc directory you have to go to slash etc slash ansible same as simple right so i'll go to cd then i'll go to the particular directory cd then uh, var ww and html yeah ls we have an index.html over here so while we creating our user data automatically it's created this file right so open this file nano index.html so come down so here you can see that home page right i will change from home page to contact page let me do that contact page and i will mention target to target to yeah. control or enter control x successfully done i'll go to my uh, this edge step then i'll refresh and you can see that from home, contact sorry home page to contact page target to right so now we will uh, push this in instance into that particular target group. So Maya, how to add this instance into that particular target group? Okay, first I have to go to my target group because instance I have been already created. I'll go to my target group then. Below, okay, I have to select my one target group. Okay, I, I selected contact then, target then, add or register, right? I'll register and you can see that we have a two instances. I will select my contact okay because i have selected my contact target group so select include as pending below and we have to confirm that by using register pending target that's it so successfully added if you select contact you can see that one target has been added and it is what is the health check unused, unused. why why no uh. uh so we didn't connect this target group uh, with the load balancer that's what once you connect it with the load balancer automatically size will be changed to initial Okay, I'll show you that. Okay, so now I'll go to my home target group. Same step I'll repeat. I'll go to my uh, register target. Uh, then I will add my home. Then include as pending below. I'll confirm by just clicking register pending targets. Then, okay, successfully done. So now I will uh, go to my load balancer. We have to go to load balancer. Yeah. So this is my load balancer. Here you can see that active and name is my LB application load balancer. I'll go to listeners. See, as of now, we don't have any listeners, right? okay as of, as of now we don't have any listener so click on add a listener so select your protocol that is http and default action when you searching load balancer public ip address or public dns where it should go so that is the default action so default action i will select forward to where where home right i will select home yeah that's fine so next uh, i will add see if you want you can add multiple target group then you can give weight what is the weight no wait wait uh, that will determine so where it has to uh, route the traffic mode for example you can see that weight is a one percentage right suppose you added two target group and you provided 10 and over here 90 which means 
ten percent request will go to target group one, and ninety percent request will go to target group two. See, since I have only one target target group, I will only select over here. So this is not available at all as of now. I can select one more target group if I want. Okay, so select add. So successfully added, and I connected my uh, target group with my listener. I'll go to my target group, then I will be able to find initial. So go to home, and you can see that where is my targets and uh, wait. Let's refresh. Okay, so now you can see that it is healthy, right? So once you connected your target group with your load balancer, it is healthy. So what is my domain name? Super. So let's wait. Now you can see that I'm able to access my home page, right? So while you're searching Super Glue D T K, and it is going to work. Okay, home page. So when I'm searching uh, contact dot super glue T K, it's it's it should go to work. Contact page target, right? So as of now, it's not working. I'll copy this. Then I will paste one more of. over here let me check contact dot uh, super glue tk see it's not working right see the site can't be reached check uh, the if there is a typo or contact dot super glue tk so there is a no problem but actually it is not at established that's what so for that uh, we have to go to our listeners rule first okay so i'll go to my load balancer <coughs> go to load balancer then go to this listeners you have to select this listener so here we have an option what is it view and edit rule i will select view and edit rule so yesterday itself we already discussed path based routing right so that you will be able to find over here see so this is all default rule i will select edit button so then i will select edit and here you can see that edit rule so just click on add insert rule add a condition so we already discussed path based routing right or wrong So now we will discuss about host header. Okay, so I'll just click on host header. So then I will provide where. What is the value? Contact dot super glue dot tk. Right. So then I will accept this. Then uh, okay, if the condition is true, where it has to go? Okay, I will forward to where contact target group. Right. Okay. Then save. Okay, successfully done. I'll go to my route fifty three again. So for that you have to open route fifty three. So select route fifty three. I will open my route fifty three. In route fifty three you can see that uh, my domain name is already created and already I created my hosted zone and that is super glue dot tk. See super glue dot tk right? Open this domain name. So here you will be able to find one more option. What is it? Create a record. Already we have a record that is a A record and that is pointing our load balancer, right? Okay. So when you search in Super Glue TK, automatically it will go to my uh, load balancer. And this is for our ACM. What is ACM? Amazon Certificate Manager. See, if you want to protect your load balancer by using SSL certificate, so we need ACL, right? For the verification purpose, actually we created this record. Okay. So I'll create a record. Then what I have to do? See, we have to add contact. Okay, this we have to provide over here. Then alias. You have to use alias. Then we have to select our application and classic load balancer. We have to select the region. Which region I created? Mumbai region. See, suppose if I am selecting any other region apart from Mumbai, what will happen? It will not work. We will not get the endpoint. So now I am getting endpoint. I will select the endpoint. Then uh, create a record. Yeah, successfully done. So uh, within one minute, and we'll be able to access contact dot uh, that particular one. Okay. So let me just check it out whether it's a working or not. We can use check host. Actually, it's a kind of website where we can test it. Okay. So contact dot super glow. Okay. It will take some time, maybe one to two minutes. Wait. Okay. So now you can see that actually we getting the out right. So I'll try to access uh, from my system itself. Refresh. It's not working. I don't try that button. And the only cache is all right now. Contact dot super glue tk. Try. Hmm. Get another. 
Okay, he is getting contact dot superglue dot dk. Try, try. First, you have to search superglue dot dk. Then you have to search contact dot superglue dk. So both you have to search. Please make it fast. You getting? Everyone is getting right. So when you searching superglue dk, it is going to work. Home page. Home page. But when you searching contact dot superglue dk, contact page. How it's done? By using host editor. So now we learn two method. One is path based. Second one is host editor. Okay. Let me just try once again. See, it's already cached in my system. That's what. Okay. So I have to wait at least three hundred seconds, five minutes. Then it will work. Okay. Uh, let me open one private link. Maybe it's work. Private window. It is already cached. We have to wait at least five minutes. Let me try with my mobile phone. Let me. <coughs> yeah, in mobile phone I'm getting okay, but in the system itself is already cached. That's what I'm not getting. Okay. Fine. 